Hey guys, hey, this is Admin from Plex God. So maybe we're gonna do a, a fun video, a boring video, whichever way you decide to take it. This is just something uh, new offhand. Maybe um, some of y'all might learn something off this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and repair uh, PG Move Encrypted Edition. So I'm gonna treat it like PG Blitz, where it's gonna detect which version the user is using. And like I said, most of this I just come off the top of my head, so I have an idea of what I'm doing because I just repaired this. And the thing is, I have code that um, I have code that already exists. So the thing is, I already have two separate folders, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here for PG Move. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine them, and we're gonna do uh, a detection of sorts. So the first thing is that I'm gonna go to roles, and and going to roles, I'm gonna go to where. It's going to be menu, and then there's menu move en. So, right now, if we load up Plex Guide, it's going to show me that there are two versions. All right, so I can go ahead and load it up. Mm, let me see, PG update. I think it's because I was, um, I had a four copy downloaded. So 6053, that's what I'm on right now. And again, this this video, like like I said, this is, um, you know, something, you know, hey, if you wanna watch, uh, kind of see what I'm doing here, I'll kind of narrate what's going on. Okay, so right now the problem is people are saying that they're having issues with PG uh, move encrypted. And I pretty much know why. So what happened was we got rid of a lot of legacy code and it kind of took out some components with it. Um, but anyways, it, it would need uh, rewriting anyways. So you can see here I have two versions. So the goal here is to um, combine them like this as both. Uh, the PG move um, did work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine it and make it a both. And um, the good thing is most of the code is already correctly written in um, menu move. So what we need to do is we need to add the encrypted components into it. So first I need to get out of this incorrect version of Plex Guide. And the reason for that is, is because I was doing a quick video kind of showing a demo of uh, test 009. And again, I do appreciate all the people who, uh, you know, do point out issues. Uh, most actually uh, really try to resolve some of the issues, uh, even with uh, limited understanding coding and and some people, people even push great code. So right now I'm on the uh, Edge version. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go fork it. So I'm gonna call it, um, I don't know, MoveVN01 or 05. I always do some random number in case um, I do this again. Okay, so what I did was I forked the latest version of Edge and um, we're gonna go back here and go to roles again. And we're gonna go look at menu move. And and the thing is, um, you have to understand, I only have like a year experience in Linux, so <laughs> I do have some haphazard methods. Um, you know, some for better, some for worse. That's why you see some of the uh, awesome ideas, <laughs> and, and then that's why you kind of see some issues sometimes. So right now, what we have here is you can see that. Um, movie ends a little bit broken because so many services are missing um, and what I did was I pulled these from PG Blitz so I'm gonna go in here and we're gonna go ahead and pull Blitz Let's see and I'm gonna show you how easy this is rolls PG Blitz let's look here PG Blitz PG Blitz right here scripts nope and, and like I said I even I even get lost format sometimes too okay so here you can see we got tcrypt that we'll need uh, T drive encrypted and gcrypt so we're gonna need those and those will go in the templates right there so we're gonna go ahead and add them And 
and they're not just going to work out of the box too so we're going to have to update this right here uh, let's see here <laughs> I just made a, a bonehead move <laughs> I thought I was going to copy it <laughs> oh god okay yeah so what it did was it, it, it literally <laughs> it hijacked them and uh, I should know because where is Blitz? Yeah, you can see uh, Blitz turned brown. And it's like, hey, stuff, stuff disappeared. Okay, so let me duplicate these. So little, little, little things like this will uh, keep you busy. <laughs> okay. Um, I hope I don't have to do this one by one. Actually. Yeah, duplicate. And we're going to go ahead and type menu PG Blitz. I was about to have a bad day there. And then, same thing here duplicate PG Blitz. And duplicate. Blitz. Okay, so you saw the brown one away. <laughs> okay, I thought I thought the Mac was just gonna copy it over, but yeah, same folder, same folder. Okay, so now these were added. Okay, so these are basically the templates that are deployed. So when you deploy um, PG Blitz, these are the things that pretty much uh, go into effect to assist you. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for. Uh, the deployment itself so tasks so you can see here that we have tasks already made for them right so no need to to reinvent the wheel and gcrypt <laughs> okay so it looks like I have to duplicate them and we're gonna go ahead and put it in um, does it move EM Or no, move, move, because we're all, we're all combining it. Okay, duplicate. So menu, move, duplicate. Menu, move, and decrypt. Duplicate. Menu, move. And again, this this project is is massive. Um, you can easily get lost in what you're doing or or take out the wrong thing. So here, you see, I'm really trying to take my time. Okay, and and, and it's good with Adam because you know it gives you color coding indications of what's changed. Okay, so the thing is, this has all of the uh, deployment codes. So. You see here, I try to organize this. This is good. Why? Because uh, since it's standardized, I'm able to uh, pop it in the other one. The only thing I have to change out is the name of the role. Okay, so we're gonna go to main. And you can see that. Uh, okay, that, Okay, so move is gonna deploy, so we're gonna push this before move. this start and <clears throat> yeah it should be good from there okay so the thing is looking at this it's gonna pull from a role called menu PG blitz which we had earlier so we need to make it line up with what we're doing so we're gonna do move, menu move menu move menu move okay so we got a little progress here okay so the thing is we don't want to have two separate versions so how do we make this deploy an unencrypted and an encrypted version well simply one we're gonna first detect what version we're running and then two these tags are what will help so when we do the um, deployment of the unencrypted version we're gonna have a thing that says skip tags encrypted so basically what it do is when it runs through the line of code it will basically skip this so 
um, it's kind of you'll, you'll start to learn workarounds with Ansible, and, and there probably is a more efficient way of doing it. Um, but we're gonna um, we're gonna do a skip tag. So the first thing we can do first is we can see if the uh, if the roll works. So remember how I did a, a fork? So uh, let's see here. We gotta push it to GitHub first. Where is the user that likes to shift? There it is. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and stage them. I'm going to do update. So we can say uh, first attempt to crypt. You can see I get lazy and just, just type update and <laughs> push. So the good thing of uh, the way PG uh, God works is you can, you know, basically you can do real time testing. So we're going to go ahead and type PG fork. And we're going to have to update that link. So we're going to go ahead and do three. In the future, this will be updated where you can put your username only. You don't have to put the whole link of your code. And then you can see we're using branch move en05. Move en05. And there we go. So now we have the, the, the forked version. So right now, um, I'm using a version that nobody sees unless you decide to go ahead and fork my fork <laughs> probably not advisable for you because usually it's testing okay so in order to deploy a, a role I'm gonna go ahead and do Ansible role opt plex guide PG YML and, and you can also you can also do uh, nope my bad not Ansible role so there's two ways to deploy it. So you can use Ansible role and you could just type the name or you can do the longer version if you want to make sure that you're good. That's what this is. Opt uh, Plex guide PG YML. And so this is the long version. Tags and then it's going to be menu move. So the thing is if you're going to deploy something the YML has to be named main and it needs to exist within tasks. If it doesn't and you do this, nothing's going to happen. So let's see if it works. So right now it's just going to go ahead and deploy everything. So move is technically, um, it's going to deploy the unencrypted move. But the point is I'm just trying to make sure to see if the, uh, the extra drives come up. Now I should get errors because I never technically configured them. But the fact that it shows me an error shows me that it attempted to do something, which is good. Status T drive. Okay, good. And then uh, T crypt. Okay, good. So they fail because right now R clone's not configured. Yeah, you see right here? So it says R clone, you know, is not configured. But the point is, is now we know that this script attempted to deploy it. Okay? So. The next thing we need to tackle is hmm, detection. Okay, so in PG Blitz, I already have that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna steal some of that code from from that area. So PG Blitz, and again, you can get kind of lost in this over time. Manual, and so what I did was in the beginning here, it's like it's gonna it's going to look up uh, variables um, and it's going to basically specifically look for G drive so if I do just so you see for yourself if I just copy this right and then I do echo G drive because that's what that is right there because it's executing that command you see it detects it but if I do the same thing right now there's no tcrypt but if I do the same thing here, that nothing comes up. Tcrypt. Nothing comes up. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to do variable detection. And if you look at these bash statements, it's basically going to execute a series of commands. Like, if this equals G drive and this equals T drive, then it is unencrypted. Right? It makes sense because you, you're smart and you set up both of them. But 
for Plex Guide, we only need you to do, I mean, for PG Move, we only need you to do um, G Drive, and for the encrypted, we only need you to do T Crypt, or no, G Crypt, <laughs> all Google. So the T's are for team drives, but we're gonna have those deploy in case a user does have them. So we're gonna go ahead and snatch this bit of code right here. And we're gonna go ahead and pull up the main for menu move and the scripts. Okay, so it looks like I already had it doing that. <laughs> and nice, let me see if it's the exact same thing. Nope, it isn't. But for sanity's sake, we're gonna go ahead, let me make sure it's doing the same thing. If menu equals R clone. I don't even know if the variables are even being used. Okay, I just know that this works better. So we're gonna take that out. Okay. <clears throat> so right now, this is basically, um, this main file is basically a variable menu. So when you when you get to when you get to this menu in the first play, the first time, you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get sent here. So if you recognize that, hey, here's our clone. Here's this one, two, three, four, set choice, whatever. So this is something you recognize. Also, um, because we're gonna have this being encrypted, or unencrypted, encrypted, we're gonna have to put another uh, recall and register and basically have it spell out what you're doing. Okay, <laughs> so I hope I didn't lose you here. Okay, so let's see, what is the next thing? Okay, so the thing, one thing I learned is to, to close out things that you're no longer using too, because if you start having a lot of tabs open, you start going a little nuts. Okay. So right now, what we want to do is do a detection thing. Right? So like how we have in, let's see. So I don't need any Y mouse. Okay, so we got that main open and PG Blitz. Menu, menu. And you can see the PG Blitz has a lot more files. So if any of you are having issues with uh, PG Blitz, you know, feel free to um, look at these files. Okay. So manual. So that's how I remember. Manual. Manual is the, uh, the other version. I can move it down here. So it'll prevent me from getting confused. Okay. So we got this. So now what we want to do is we want to steal this piece of code. Okay. And what we're going to have to keep in mind is, is that we want this, let me see here, okay, so this is setting a variable, okay, so we're going to put this like kind of like up here, we're going to put this here, because my last one I had a more complicated setup like how to recall variables and encryption, but well, what the easiest way to do was do a detection and then based on that do encrypted and not encrypted, and then based on Based on this variable that gets stored, that's where it executes either the unencrypted or the encrypted PG move. The old one was just crazy complicated. Um, so right now we don't need T drive. So if it's if T drive, T drive does not need to exist. So and this is where we got to be careful on. So. G drive exists equal on, which is correct. Else, unencrypt it off. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> like I said, you can get you can get kind of lost in this. Okay. So the thing we need is. Tcrypt and Gcrypt. So if this is true and encrypted is on, so what we want is probably reverse this. I'm trying to think here. Because in this one, if we're going to say, actually, it might be better to do a three conditional on this one. Actually, no, multi-conditional. 
because we need this. But the thing is, we don't need T drive. Okay. I'm just, man, I'm starting to get myself confused here. <clears throat> and we don't need T crypt. <laughs> See, that's what, that's what was confusing me. Okay. Because I'm, so, I, I was working on PG Blitz so much. Um, so basically, if G crypt, because that's for the, the Google Drive. PG Move only uses Google. We don't care about T crypt, and we don't care about T drive. Okay. So G crypt equals gcrypt so then it will technically be the other way around I could do a not equal statement here but I kind of learned not to to use that so you can follow better so it'll be the other way around because if this is true and this is true then we want to say hey it is encrypted so we're gonna go flip-flop that cut a little bit easier okay and then we want to take the unencrypted and I'm just making sure sorry I got distracted by the Siri this is on this is on unencrypted okay unencrypted on if this is false okay not configured oh man I'm confusing myself here good times huh This is the part that will drive you nuts. There's a reason why I wrote it the way I did in the other system. Okay, I see what I was doing here. So the thing is, if encryption is on, it's going to set this. If encryption is on. So right now, we don't have encrypted anywhere. So I need to look back to that original code. If encryption equals on. Hmm. So technically this isn't if it's funny because this is oh you know what in PG Blitz we never did finish the encryption so that's why I'm <laughs> slightly getting confused okay I, I, I kind of get it okay so right now we need to focus on getting the encryption on okay so if G drive equals this and G drive equals this, then we're going to say unencrypt it off and then we'll turn encryption on. I may have to just delete this later on based on why it's said like that. Okay, unencryption on. So encryption's on. And then we're going to say encrypted. So it looks like we can delete that code down there below. The one thing is we're going to need is, is we're going to we're going to need to set it up where if these are both if this is not set it's gonna say not configured so okay so we'll, we'll leave that for, for something else okay so if it's not unencrypted is on and encrypt encryption equals off and unencrypted gets stored to the menu okay and then the thing is you can use a else if but uh, I'm not going to particularly look that up right now. Okay, so if this is incorrect, uh huh. Just trying to see here. Okay, so by default, if this equals this, this equals that. Okay. So right now we saw that not configured, right? That's 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 a key thing we gotta pay attention to. Okay, so if neither one of these two, so if this occurs, this occurs unencrypted, right? But then what I want to do is if G drive is not configured. And I learned I learned you gotta be very careful with the spacing on these things. 
Okay. We're gonna cut this down. Uh, actually, we got a, actually we got an example here. If G drive doesn't equal G drive. Oh man, I'm starting to get. Okay, so we're gonna double it up and let's just go ahead and copy and paste this. So we're trying to say that if both of these are false. Then we're going to put not configured as a fail safe to start off. We're going to have it start off as not configured just in case they set up G drive. No, they set up G crypt, but they forget to set up G drive. So by, by default, they'll just say not configured to just to let the user know. Okay, so that kind of gives us our, our, um, idea of a menu yeah this is gonna be interesting okay <laughs> all right so let's see if we can get this to show up in because right now we're just editing um, what's gonna show up in the main one okay so we're menu move uh-huh so the main menu is this, got it. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a task to say, hey, recall, recall uh, protection meth uh, method. It's whatever you just, whatever you wanna name it. And what we wanna do is we wanna recall this exact link. So we're going to say cat this, and what we're going to do is we're going to put it here. So we need to register it as something, so we can just say protection. And so we're going to do protection stout. So basically it's going to recall whatever this does. So we're going to go ahead and hit save, stage all, update. I know you're so excited, aren't you? Okay. PG fork. Download. We'll find out if this even works. Like I said, one variable off, one space. Sometimes I would have you chasing hoops. It would be kind of ironic if you caught something now. Um, so we're going to go to mechanisms. We're going to pick four because eventually five is going to go away it's just going to be merged oh okay so this is unencrypted but i had something here Let's see so main sh is missing a colon or something to that effect main sh uh-huh Hmm. Rolls, move, just make sure. Move, yeah. So sometimes you'll be losing your mind. Am I missing a quotation somewhere, maybe? Quotation, quotation. Quotation, quotation. And again, it's like the stupidest thing. And right now, you probably could be looking at it. You're like, oh, it's right in front of you. Um, it might be something even above, too. So semicolon. And this is why I particularly like Ansible the most when I do things. I'm going to go ahead and pause this while I look for it. Okay. I found it. One second. 
Okay. So what is missing is is missing this. Because you can see here how it's double. So that's why it's kind of a good idea to kind of copy and paste. Okay, so that should work. Uh huh. Okay. What VMware? Okay. Let's go ahead and try this again. So it's like I said, it's little things like that can keep you busy. <laughs> and it really depends on your energy for today. Okay. There we go. And the same thing. This is this high check for it. Four. Oh, okay, good, good. Okay. So basically you can see that there was no issues here and it said encrypted, unencrypted. Okay, so the way we could test this truly out is we go to I'm gonna just make a bogus um our clone config. Our clone config. And what it's looking for, it's it's looking for um gcrypt. So gcrypt and it'll be local. And again, this is something you wouldn't do. Again, all it's caring for is just to see if it comes up. So let's see if encrypted comes up. And it's good if it does, because if it does, then we're pretty much set for how everything else will start executing on. If it doesn't, then it's going to be bug hunting time. Sweet. It came up. Awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to delete... We're gonna do our theory game. So, because the thing is, like I said, people here on PlexGuy will sometimes like to, to play games. Well, not on purpose, but um, <laughs> they'll set up something and they'll have all kinds of issues. Okay, so you can see here our special bonehead set of Gcrypt. Because we did actually have one person who set up all T drives and they're like, oh, why why can't I have like more? And why do I need G drive? But because it's in the wiki. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and do PlexGuy. It should give me a not configured. So we're going to see here. Oh, okay. It gave us an unencrypted option. Not good. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and delete our config. Gcrypt 21. Flex guide. It may seem not configured. It might be just that one thing. Okay. Four. There we go. Okay. Not configured. I'm gonna chase that down later. <laughs> so again, that's one of those uh rare moves. So if somebody just sets up Gcrypt. Um yeah. Actually, let's look at it really quick. So why would it do that? Okay, so it starts off as not configured. It's saying if, so this turns out to be false. Else unencrypted, unencrypted, so it show up. If G drive does not equal G drive, which it doesn't, and then this doesn't equal, oh, okay, I get it. I get it. <laughs> hmm. It's because you would have, this is actually pretty easy to do. Okay. Yeah. Bigger message comes up. Okay, so we're saying that this doesn't exist, but this exists. Okay. And if I have any weird issues, I kind of know where to come after this one. So it's saying if G drive does not exist, and okay, so it's a con it's a double conditional, so I shouldn't have any issues here. Yeah. So let's go ahead and test out our theory. 
come on. Pg4. It's cloning. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do Plex Guide. And then we're going to do this for okay not configured is good okay so let's put a, a g crypt in here and just do a local click and what will it give me not configured good okay so that's straight so now now we have our our conditional straight and, and that's not a bad thing because um it's basically how the rest of this whole thing is going to execute. Okay, so we've got our not configured. Good, good. Okay, so that's the menu, our clone. Okay, so the next thing we should be looking at is it'll be the deployment of it soon. So if menu equals this, looks like I have this again too. I need a, I need a copy these to route try to get rid of those okay I'm trying to see if I see that anywhere else okay so here is going to be the execution of our script for everything so it's going to remove the services so we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up creating two versions right so the skip tags is the one i was talking about earlier about what we were trying to do copy because basically we're going to do an if statement if let's see here I think we set up the encryption. Okay, so we're gonna base off encryption. Okay, so we, it's good we do have a variable set in place. If encryption equals on, or let's let's do off just to keep it simple. Then execute that else. Execute this phi is in and one will be the if encryption is off so we need to do a skip tags and we're going to do encryption and let me just double check that one more it's definitely not this one encrypted okay you got to make sure it says exactly encrypted okay good and later on I need to put some kind of block where if it says not configured it'll prevent them from even executing this okay so let's just get to the point if encryption equals off encrypted okay so the way we could do a test because it's gonna it's gonna remove all the services so the way we could do a test is to fork this again. And this is why PG4 comes in handy so much. So like right now I'm just like I said just testing out my own version Plex guide, okay? All right. <laughs> what are we doing next here? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and Set it up. So two, no, not two, four, and then we're gonna deploy it. I'm right, just go ahead and pause this real quick because I'm gonna configure our clone. Right, I'm back. So I went ahead and put G drive in. So first, we gotta make sure the unencrypted works. So, um, hmm. Now it says not configured. Okay, let's go back in. 
And like I said, that's stuff that will keep me busy. Uh, four. Okay, unencrypted, good. So I'll probably, probably when it exits, I need to make it do some kind of refresh. That might throw people off in the future. Okay, so let's just make sure that the mounts work accordingly. See, because you can see we may change. So right now, I removed all the services and stopped them. And it looks like we found something here. Probably something stupid. It's missing from line 105. It's probably the same thing. Yeah, it's probably, remember when I was talking about the spacing earlier? It's probably that space that I was talking about. Yeah, I guarantee you it is. Stage, update. Fork it again. Fun, fun. Okay, Plex God. Okay, so two. Uh huh. So we got to make sure it says unencrypted. Okay, we're going to hit four. Good. So the thing we're going to look for again is making sure that the T crypt and uh, the G crypt don't exist. That's just the that's just a way to make sure that everything is installed correctly for the unencrypted edition. Because remember we did the skip encrypted, so those should skip. And they shouldn't even exist because they got removed in the very beginning. Okay. So that's a good sign. Didn't error out. Okay. So let's do LSLA. Actually, let's check the service system CTL status uh, G drive. Good, it's running. Okay, let's see if T drive is up. Good. And then we're going to check uh, T crypt. Okay. So the first thing we should be looking at is the remove. And probably I didn't have it set up like that because, yeah, there's tcrypt and gcrypt. Okay. Stop. Remove. Should have just outright removed them. Menu move. Yeah, there's tcrypt. Sometimes things will mystify I mean regardless it works um, but again that's something I'll, I'll keep it a mental note to go check on EMFS yeah <laughs> unclean termination okay LSLA mount UNFS okay so LSLA mount G drive good okay so that's what that's what we're looking for Okay, so we know that the um, that installed cleanly. I'm still kind of curious why those will come back up. The only reason I would think is is because it it actually like executed the actual tags. See, so encrypted, 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 and then in the main. Let's see. Main sh if encrypted equals off, then Ansible playbook move skip tags encrypted. And part of the way you'll know that works is um, I should be seeing some kind of like blue tags. Menu move. Let me just make sure I'm on the right one. Okay, install move. Install move, bandwidth limit start. Okay. Install T drive service yet, that's normal. Install, okay, so I don't see the G crypt, okay. 
still think that's weird. Okay. Let me see what happens if I do it without. Oh, it looks like it wants to play games. Um, Ansible roll menu move. So that's the shortcut that I was telling you about. So right now I should be trying to do everything. I'm just trying to make sure it says tcrypt and gcrypt. I mean, we saw launch. Come on, come on. Yep, there it goes. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going crazy. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that the right version installs now. Okay, so first of all, we're going to go to our clone config and make sure it works. Okay, so two, four, and then we're going to change our clone config. I'm going to put a bogus, uh, what is it, gcrypt in. So new remote gcrypt. We're going to do a dummy drive. Later on, I'm going to test a real one. I just, I just care about Okay, so that's not refreshing right away. So that's something I need to pay attention to. And if it refreshes, okay, so that's gonna be an easy fix. So the parts where it kind of stores the variable, what happens is once it exits, I need to kind of have it repeat that again. Okay, so we see that we caught a glitch. Okay, so let's go ahead and do deploy. And make sure that the same thing occurs. We see, <clears throat> Now, the, the, obviously the encryption is not going to work, but I'm just making sure that I see the install um, gcrypt service. Yep. So I just want to make sure that everything was working correctly, which one will execute. Okay, so we know that we got these executing correctly. So the next phase for me to do is basically to set up the gcrypt. Okay. And again, I don't use the encrypted method much, but you know, we have users that uh that love it. Plex guide. And we are gonna go to the wiki instructions. Um the PG move. Because the encrypted instructions had what mount we needed to set. So the gcrypt, so all we're doing is setting up gcrypt. Okay, so you see here, there's instructions here. So we're gonna type crypt, then you're gonna pick gcrypt, yeah, I forgot, yeah, I forgot about all that extra stuff. So that's where, that's where this wiki comes in handy. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and set this up. configure so let me delete gcrypt and then we're gonna do a new gcrypt and we're gonna name it crypt oh 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 hmm let me see something here so I need to change those instructions there and we probably did do crypt in the past. Again, I'm just, okay. And then we're gonna pick storage type. You can type that exactly, G drive. Uh, encrypt. Name, storage. Okay, I'm just double checking here. Okay, I just got the boot on that. So gcrypt, oh yeah, duh. Okay, name, gcrypt, storage, g drive, encrypt. Didn't find filing system for g drive, encrypt. <laughs> okay. 
failed to find remote because it's looking for this. I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Okay, I know the bonehead move I was making. So, the thing is, it was... Let me go back to it. So, I'm going to enhance these instructions a little bit. So, technically, the instructions are correct. This kind of got kind of got me confused. Name, name, storage, name, name. But I kind of forgot that it's relating to something. But just to make sure that you're not confused, if for some reason you're still following along in this video. Uh... So we're going to do four, um, our clone config, new. So you're going to type um, gcrypt, or just correct. And that's why I was, I was getting these kind of confused. So what happens is you're, going to, you're, you're basically typing either number eight, or you're typing crypt. So that's what that is right there. I was wondering why I couldn't find it. So I'll type gdrive encrypt as it says, two, one, type in a password, don't leave, don't, long story short, don't forget what that is. We had a user who forgot their passwords and, well, they probably locked themselves out. Okay. So the file should look like that. Yes. That should be it. Yeah. Okay, so let's deploy these. I didn't refresh. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and deploy that again. It looks like uh, I have something trying to catch me here. It looks like it's something legacy. You must have G drive in the configuration, which I do. Yeah. G drive is there. Okay, so let's see what's causing that. I should me exit out of this because it's probably related to that. So I need to fix that. Huh, that's weird. It's configured. All right, let me go pause that and see what's causing that now. Okay, so in order to chase it down, we need to see what the variables um, call up. If you saw in the beginning, there, there was kind of like a, a variable call up. So, we are on name and so the thing is you will say t drive tracking tracking okay so the menu is running through all this right here Okay, so we're going to echo gcrypt. Okay, gave me that. And echo gdrive. Oh. <laughs> oh, I just had to add that extra stuff. Maybe that's why I had that head earlier. Jesus. Okay, fine. I was wondering why I had that that there and that's probably what it was due to that okay so let's look at github and we're still on edge good and type n8 let me see if that just comes up okay head n8 and I think that's going to be related to so it was G drive. And I think that's related to how many lines it calls up. Yeah. So it's not that. I know it's not hit eight. It's like a diff, uh, not an eight, it's something else. Okay, Google. 
how to see bash how to recall first two letters variable sorry i don't understand not talking to you google sometimes you'll see some crazy answers sometimes you'll see some long answers yeah c character So we do C. Echo. Head. Hey, that's not right. I know it's something that I always use. It's sad because I even got it in my code cut. I did see a head method where I did get it to work doing that. So probably like what seven? Eight? Okay, looks like it's eight on the dot. Okay. So we just discovered that we needed this. <laughs> so cut eight. So, tcrypt is probably going to need the same. I'm trying to think. Yeah, it would technically need the same thing. So, pipe. It's going to be all the same thing. Not relevant for the others, but might as well, right? Uh-huh. And one more. Okay. And I know there's one more like that, so we gotta definitely fix that one. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Echo Gcrypt. Perfect. And then D drive. Hmm. Okay, so I didn't do the whole thing. Probably I was calling up the wrong variable earlier. Yeah, let's see. Oh. Oh, that's... <laughs> right, I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Okay, I found my funny little one workaround. So I just added the head back in. So let me make sure. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So now I got this. Uh -huh. And again, that's something stupid stuff like that that keeps you busy. Because you probably wouldn't know, you know. I, I didn't think that would echo within that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing again. Echo tcrypt. Didn't have anything there, so good. G drive. That came up correctly. And then echo tcrypt. Okay, perfect. So. That is the perfect uh, header. Plus, we need it to refresh anyways. Because the thing is, when you're finished deploying, you should have refreshed it. but Because it works, but I just don't want it to throw the person off. So change bandwidth from the note. Uh -huh. Okay, might as well put it here because this is where it will end. Yeah. And the thing is, I wonder 
I wonder if I need this again. Most likely, yes. And that's something I will test at the end. Okay. I'm just putting a Y habit here. Hmm. G drive. Okay. Because updating this, it's going to be looking for that. Uh huh. I probably need to knock and. Well, I don't need to knock a figure because it should. I want to set up something where later on, where if it uh, the knock a figure shows up, it, it blocks the the person from deploying it. Okay. Good times. G fork. Download. Plex guide. Oh, this is keeping me busy. Okay, good. It says encrypted. Will it deploy correctly? We'll find out. Can't even remember what the original problem was. <laughs> I'll probably find out. Okay, good. So it said, you know, it's deploying those. That's That's a good thing. And I technically set up, yeah, it's because I need to set up dark mode. That's what it was. So should keep that update. Good. So let's check on the service itself. System CTL status gcrypt. And it failed. It says it doesn't exist because mount gcrypt doesn't exist. Hmm. Oh yeah. It's the dot gcrypt. Okay. I'm trying to think. Yeah, there's a service. Okay. I just remember because this how to queue, um, she set it all up in the past. I think the PG Blitz will end up using it without the dot, but good mental note it has to be updated again so pg fork download plex guide okay you see how you see how much that pg fork saves me time okay so we're going to go ahead and deploy the encrypted one again and let's see if the error repeats itself I know, sounds sounds like you just fix things in a heartbeat. That's what I was used to think too. So like I said, it's one thing that can keep you off your game. And again, the Ansible saves like half the time because, you know, if something's botched, they'll tell me. But not for everything. That's why eventually I want to try to move off away from these bash scripts as much as I can. Okay, so. Fail to mount. Hmm. Let 
Yeah, the f forked it up and everything. Oh, you know what? Stupid me, it's in two places. I got all fixated. Let's see if in the project there's any other mount. Just a cheap crit. Yeah, it's in the builder too. So, what we can do is let's get away from the dot. Oh, look, we even had it in the wrong place there. Let's get away from the dot. Let's see where it does exist right now. Find all. Yeah. So that's old. That's old. Docker no. That's old code. Move menu. Change that. Let's get rid of this, this, this. I think the purpose was to, to, to keep it hidden, which is the dot, but I don't think it's useful for troubleshooting unless the user typically knows to go to that. Okay, so now that we can force everybody to run that uh, folder setup, that, that, that's where this PG SH comes in handy. Okay, so we're going to force the pre-installer. The folders, but I remember it was part of it. Okay. So you even set up systems where all I have to do is change a number and force particular updates. And trust me, it was a pain before it, before it existed. We put it somewhere in PG5. PG fork. Download. Flex guide. Should tell me to update. Yep. This is going to go ahead and create those folders. It shouldn't be a problem for past users because you're going to have, when you're redeploying the thing, it's going to, it, it doesn't matter. You know, the this, this system, as long as it all sets up in one location. It'll probably be interesting to see what the folders look like if it, everything shows up. Okay, so you saw some yellow earlier. So you could tell like certain folders are getting made. Alrighty. <laughs> so now, let's go do this again for the billionth time. Okay, four. Um, deploy. Gotta love the Ansible. Start, start. I just care, I just care about the G drive. The G crypt working. Because without that, it's gonna be the headache of a scenario. Okay. Okay, good. System CTL status gcrypt and why should be an error? Oh, look at that. Magic, huh? So if I do LSLA, it should be empty. LSLA amount gcrypt. Yep, zero. Okay, good. The move, I believe, has to be updated for. Um, touch. Bobcat text. I believe that the encrypted version of PG Move had to deploy. And I have to recall why, but I'm going to see where this thing goes, anyways, or what happens. And it may not move. And again, it's because it's the encrypted version. And that's why the PG log has come in handy a lot. Yeah, so 
There sits a bobcat. Okay. So, somewhat of a good sign, I think. <laughs> okay, so right now we want things to move. So we need to get the encrypted version of move. And PG Blitz may have it. If not, I just have to refer to an older one. Yeah, it wouldn't have it because it's was PG Blitz. Okay, people reported working in 5.8, so we're gonna go ahead and download, I mean not 5.8, but in uh, 3.8. Roles. Commit. Release. Uh, sorry, I'm just I'm just a little bit tired. Okay. Three eight. Source code. That is awesome. Well, we have reasons we can refer to old code. Okay. Roles. It might be move. You see the code is old. The the code is older here. Might have been PG drive EN. Yeah, there we go. So there's move there. That was the encrypted version. I don't know, was there? I thought it was. Let's see, PG log. That's a system CTL status move. System CTL status move. Yeah, it says it's running and sleeping. So it takes two minutes. I probably should re reduce that threshold. And that's probably why we don't see anything. Okay, while I give that a little bit of time, I'm just double checking. PG drive EN. And there's a reason why we got rid of a lot of old code is just for these specific reasons. It started getting repetitive. You know, R clone EN, PG drive EN, PG drive, PG drive. It's just, um, there's more places where other things exist. So it says it's sleeping. Okay. But you see, it says that this ran for four minutes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Pause. All right, guys, well, I'm going to have to sit on this one a little bit, you know, so it's a late night. But, hey, again, the purpose of this video is just to show you all the random things that, you know, you got to track down. And, and if any of you are advanced coders, I know you're probably going to just like, yeah, this could be done in some, so much of a better way. Who knows? But at the end of the day, it's a, it's a freelance project, right? So if you got any comments, if I was just rambling, you know, if I was wasting your time, or if you, if you found anything useful, um, you know, please comment below, uh, like it. You know, share it. I don't know if you're really going to share it, but I think you get the idea. Other than that, yeah, I appreciate your time. All right, thanks. Bye.